Hey y'all, um, welcome back to my channel, Journey to Happiness. So, I just want to talk about one more thing tonight. Um, because I just watched this TikTok video talking about how, you know, we, people are always talking about the same shit. Excuse my language, but we all, well shoot, I think it's all adults that listen to me and watch my channel. We all talking about the same stuff every week it's the same thing um the same old topics and he was saying like you know we in general nowadays i feel like you know he was saying we he feels like we're making dating way too complicated dating and marriage way too complicated than it needs to be and i think that's true this whole talk about 50 50 who should demand should provide women being submissive this and that and the thing is we're making it so complicated it's pretty simple you know what you like you know or if you don't find out what you like in a partner in a man or a woman if you meet somebody you know you might you find them attractive so you go out with them a few times and if you still like them continue to date them but if you if it turns out you don't like them or you're not compatible with them, then just stop dating them. If you want a man that's going to be a provider, um, that is willing to, you know, pay all the bills in the household so you can stay at home and take care of the kids or whatever, just find a man like that. Date a man like that. If you run into a man that is not that, then just don't date him. Or fellas, if you want a woman that is submissive, then just find submissive women to date. If you don't want a woman that is um, dominant, don't date dominant women. Same thing with women. If you want a man that, like I say, is a provider, a man that's a leader, dominant, then only date those kind of men. If you don't like men that are kind of, you know, pushovers, to kind of, um, you know, very laid back. Um, they don't believe in providing. They want to do the 50-50 thing or whatever. Then just don't date those kind of men. If you don't like big women, don't date big women. If you like big women, date big women. It's that simple. So, I feel like nowadays we do we make it more complicated and another thing to make it more simple is ladies go by a man's actions not just his words um men can tell us anything especially men that got game and they know how to manipulate people um and if especially if it's if you're insecure or you're very gullible, there's men out here that will tell you anything to get what they want out of you. Whether it's just for sex or to use you because they need a place to stay or whatever it is. So if a man says that uh, he's going to do this, this, that, and the third, and time goes by and he talks a good game, but he doesn't do it. Just leave the man alone. Don't deal with that man anymore. Go by a man's actions, not his words. Because you don't want a man that is not a man of his word. You know, you want a man that if he says he's going to do something, nine times out of ten, he's going to do it. You know, no man is perfect. No woman is perfect. But I think that makes it very simple, too. Go by people's actions. That's what in any relationship that you have friendship or whatever go by people's actions not their words because anybody can make their words sound fantastic anybody can do that but if their words are not matching their actions fall back and just don't deal with that person anymore because then you're dealing with a liar you know what i mean so yeah just date who you like you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, um, let's say if you're a woman that wants a man that 
makes a certain amount of money or you want a man that's tall or this or that and you know that you're overweight like myself I know I have a weight that I need to lose I would say lose the weight first before you start dating you know that way you have more options you know because yeah so yeah if if you don't like if you're a man and you don't like short women right just don't date short women if you're a woman and you don't like short men just don't date short men <laughs> like it's that simple if you're a man and you want a woman that is okay with going 50 50 once y'all have that discussion and you can come to realize that oh she she's not okay with going 50 50 then just don't deal with that woman leave respectfully just say hey you know i've liked our time together but i don't think we're compatible i don't think it's going to work out but i hope you find what you're looking for is that is that simple like me i prefer tall men but i'm okay with dating the guy that is at least my height at least i am five five so at least my height or taller i would prefer taller but i at least my height that's just a personal preference of mine. So I'm not going to date a man that is 5'3". Because I know long term, I'm just not, I'm not attracted to that, right? It's just that simple. And we're making stuff um, complicated nowadays. Like if, if you want a submissive woman, date a submissive woman. You know, me, I like dominant men. I like men that are leaders. So... I come across a man that axes me out, but it's obviously he is not dominant. I just don't deal with the man. You know what I mean? So I, I do agree. Like we, we just make it nowadays for some reason. We just make dating so complicated. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. You know, it's like if you only like blonde girls, then just date blonde girls. If you only like white girls, just date white girls. If you only like black girls, just date black girls. If you only like white men, just date white men. Like, why are we making stuff so complicated? And you don't have to insult people. Like, oh, I only date this because this, that, and that. This, this kind of woman, they don't know how to act. You don't have to do all that. Just date your type. It's, it's kind of that simple, right? Like, if you go to a restaurant and you know that you hate fish are you going to order the fish are you going to complain about the fish like why do they serve fish here i don't i hate fish no you simply just don't order the fish you order something else right it's the same thing like so i don't know y'all just tell me what y'all think but i definitely agree like we we are just making dating more complicated than it has to be